So how would we find the work here? Well, again, it would just be the area under the curve. And would it be work that's being done by or on the gas? Why? Yeah, it's still the work that's done by because we're still expanding. That, that would be this area here. The area under the PV curve and above the horizontal axis. All right, what can we say about the work here? How big is that work? Well, whatever this area is. Again, it's the area under the PV curve and above the horizontal axis. But here, this area would represent the work done on the gas. Or if you wanted to, again, you could say this is the work done by the gas, except uh, if this area is, say, 10, you'd have to say the work done by the gas is negative 10. And again, oftentimes, that's the, actually what physicists do. They like to use these, this negative approach. So if they if they're working with if they want to work with the work done by the gas, in fact that's what your book would probably do because your book uses this equation. They just stick with the work done by the gas. So if this area is five joules, they would say the work done by the gas is negative five joules. But I think it's really much clearer just to say that the work done on the gas is five joules.